What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video on how to create a custom navigation bar. In this video, you and I is going to build something similar like this, where you have a bottom navigation bar, where you can navigate between the panels. And obviously you can put whatever you want here. And once you click on one of these, you get a message as well. And if you do not like this style, do not worry. I will be showing you how to change these colors and how to change these icons or vector assets. So without further ado, let's get started. So first you need to create a new project, go to file and then new and then click on new project and then click on empty activity click next and name your project and then click on kotlin and then click on finish so first you need to add your google material design dependency go to gradle script and then click on build gradle and just add your google dependency just like that and click on sync now if you run your app you're going to see that you have an action bar and i will be showing you how to remove this action bar and how to change these colors so you need to go to resources and then values and then click on style.xml here you need to change this to no action bar and you can change your colors here so click on that and then go to custom and choose your color so i will be choosing this and change these as well all right so if you run your app one more time as you see we have removed the action bar and changed the color so now you need to create some vector assets or icons for your navigation bar so go to drawable right click and then new and then click on vector asset and here you can find your icons search for an icon that you need so in this case i'm searching for a dashboard and then click on ok and then change the color and then choose white and then name your icon icon underscore dashboard click on next and then finish so now you, as you can see we have a dashboard uh, vector asset so we need two more one for settings and one for info so right click on drawable and create a new vector asset and search for setting and then click on that and change the color to white it's already white and then name your icon and then click on next and finish one more time search for info click on ok and then rename it and then click on next and then finish and now you need to create a new directory for your menu right click on resources and then new and then click on android resource directory name your directory so menu and then change the type to menu and click on ok so once you have that right click on menu and then click on menu resource file and name your file to menu and then click on ok so once you have done that, go to menu XML, split the screen, and here you need to add your items. So let's do that, item, and then we need to provide an ID, and then the ID would be icon underscore dashboard. And now we need to select the dashboard icon, the one that we have just created in drawables. So icon, and then drawable, and then click on dashboard. And now we need to add a title for it, and we will name it dashboard. Once we have done that, we need to create two more items, one for settings and one for info. So once you have done this, you need to go to mainactivity.xml and this is where we will style our navbar. So just delete that and go to Google Android Material Navigation Bar and then identify the width and height. So we will choose a match parent and then wrap content and do not forget to add an ID and the ID would be something like bottom navigation. So once you have an ID for that, you need to put some constraints on the navigation bar. So constraints bottom to the bottom of parent so that we push the navigation bar from here to, to the bottom of the panel. And now you need to add more constraints. So constraints left to the left of parent and then constraints to the right of its parent and now we need to inject the menu to it so app menu and then we click on the menu that we have created and now you need to color the background so you can give whatever color you want but in this case we do not need white so just click on that and click the color that you want and once you have done that you need to change the color for the icons so item icon tint and then change it to white and item text color and then change it to white as well so once you have this you need to create a frame layout so a frame layout is basically a container that you will have it here so that you put your fragments in what i mean by that you can put your panels here so whenever you click on this navigation bar the panels or the fragments will be changed and this would act as a container for it so you need to have a frame layout and you need to specify the width and height so match parent and for the height just give at zero dp for now and do not forget you need an id and call it fragment container and you need to set some constraints to it constraint top would be to the top of its parent so constraints top to the top of parent and constraints bottom 
to the top of this navigation bar. So constraints, bottom to the top of basically the ID of this one, bottom navigation. All right, I think this is it. So to see your result, run your app one more time. As you can see, we have the nav bar and you can interact with it. However, we do not have any fragments or panels here. So let's create three fragments, one for dashboard and one for settings and one for info. So to do that, um, just go to your project and then go to your app and then go to your Java and here create a package. So right click on this and then click on package and name it to fragments. So once you have fragments, now you can create your fragments into this package. So right click on this and then go to fragments and then click on fragment blank and name your fragments. So the first one would be dashboard and, and click this and click on finish. So now you need to create two more fragments, one for settings and one for info. So right click on fragments and then go to new, then fragments, a blank one, call it settings fragment and, and click that and then click on finish. And one more fragments, blank fragment, and then name it info, and then and click that, and then click on finish. If you see these red lines, do not worry, just close your Android Studio and open it again. This would solve your problem. All right, so once you have resolved your problem, as you can see, you have three Kotlin fragments and you have three layout fragments. So if you go to fragment dashboard here, you can specify whatever you want to be appeared in that panel. So I would like you to change your frame layout to constraints layout. So constraints layout, and now give an ID for that text, give a dashboard ID and change this match uh, parent to wrap content and change this to wrap content as well and once you have done that change this to dashboard and give it text size of 36 sp so and now we need to push this down to the middle so we need to set some constraints to it so constraints top to the top of parent and then constraints bottom to the bottom of parent as well and we need to set some left and right constraints so constraints left to the left of parent and then right to the right of parent as well so once you have done this we need to do the same for the other fragments so just copy this and go to project and go to info fragment and split the screen and paste this here change that to constraints um, layout and change this to info and obviously you need to change this to info as well so if you see an error like that it tells you that the namespace does not bound so click on alt shift and enter so once you have imported that there that should solve the problem and we need to do the same for the last one which is setting paste it here let's call this settings and change this to settings as well and change that to constraints layout and alt shift and enter this would solve the problem so once you have done that now you need to go to your uh, main activity kotlin all right, so you need to create three private variables for the fragments. So private val, and then we call it dashboard fragment and equal to dashboard fragment. And do the same for the other two. So private val, and then call it settings fragment, and then settings fragment. And the last one is the info. So info fragment, and then info fragment. All right, so once you have done that, you need to create a function to replace fragment. So private uh, function and then call it replace fragment. And that would take fragment and then the type of it fragment. And it's always good to check if the fragment that we have passed is not null. So fragment is not null. And then if it's not null, then we need to proceed. So we need to create a transaction variable. So file transaction and then support fragment manager and then begin transaction so once you have the transaction object call the object and then replace the fragment and then resources id and then we have fragment container the container that we have created in the in the main activity so once you specify on which container that you want to replace the fragment now we need to pass the fragment and then transaction then commit so once you have done that, call this function in the beginning so that we set the dashboard fragment to it once we run the app. So replace fragment and then we would uh, pass dashboard fragment to it. 
So if you run your app, uh, the first thing we will have is a dashboard fragment. So as you can see, we have imported the dashboard fragment here. So if you click on the others, nothing will appear. And now we need to set on click listeners on these items so that once we click on this, we replace this dashboard with the settings fragment. To do that, you need to call bottom navigation and then and you need to set on navigation item selected listener when item ID, if something is selected, we need to specify if it's a dashboard or settings or info. So ID dot um, icon dashboard. If this is selected, and then you need to call replace fragment and then pass dashboard fragment to it. So you need to do the same for uh, others. So if if it's settings, and then you need to replace the fragment to settings fragment and do the same for info icon if that's the case then call replace fragment and then info fragment however we have a mistake here um, it's not equal it's like that and then the reason that we have an error because this would expect uh, to return true and once you have done that i think this is it so let's run our app so if you click on settings and the fragment has been changed so if you go back to dashboard and then if you go to info and now i will show you how to add a toast to this text if you click on that we should have a message here that says uh, welcome to dashboard for example so let's do that so if you go to your dashboard fragment you need to override on the created method so to do that click on alt then insert and then go to override methods and search for on view create it and then click enter so once you have done that select the dashboard text view and now you need to select on click listener so on click listener and then add a toast here so toast and make test and then context text welcome to dashboard toast dot um, length short and show the message so let's do the same for the info fragment click on alt insert and then override the method so on view create it then info and set on click listener to it and add the toast make text and then context welcome to info and the toast would be the length short and show so let's do that for the last one click on alt insert same as before and on view create it and go for settings and set on click listener and add the toast here so to see the result of the app, just run your app one more time. And if you click on dashboard, you will have a message. So if you go to settings and if you click on the settings, you will have the message as well. So for the info as well. All right, guys. So if you have made it here, congratulations. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more on how to build awesome mobile applications, web developments, and programming tutorials, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notifications so that you do not miss on anything. And see you guys in the next video.